<laughs> All right. And number 20, there's some stuff we know and a lot of stuff we don't. Um, first of all, we got a conceptual divide, which is fairly straightforward. You've got the members of this frequent viewers club, and those members either rented 10 or more videos or they did not. Like there's no middle ground. You did 10 or more or you did not do 10 or more. Now, I don't know if there's any members who fall into either one of those groups, right? I mean, it's possible that all of the members this month rented 50 videos. There's nobody in this group. It's possible that all of the members rented one video and there's nobody in this group. That's possible. I don't know. But I do know that the members of the club is in one of those two groups. And every member of the club that did the 10 or more uh, can redeem their rewards at the last location. Now, there may be some people who are not members and can redeem the reward at the last location. The people that are members of the club and didn't rent 10 or more videos, they have to redeem at the Main Street location. And once again, there may be people who are not members and they also have to redeem at the Main Street location. You see, I've accounted for that. And then we've got Pat. Pat did not rent 10 videos and yet, Pat got her reward not at the Main Street location. She got her reward at the Walnut? Walnut Lane. There's Walnut Lane in Dallas. Uh, Pat got her reward at Walnut Lane. So if she had been a member, she would have had to have gone to Main Street because she didn't rent 10 videos. So since Pat got her reward not at Main Street, Pat, and we know for sure that Pat did not do 10 videos, then Pat can't be a member because if she had been a member with fewer than 10 videos, she would have had to go to Main Street. She didn't go to Main Street. She did have 10 or fewer videos. She must not be a member. D, some people who are not members can receive the special discount. Pat, Pat, who is not 10 or more and yet didn't go to uh, Main Street. So here's the deal with these free videos. They're intended to serve a very narrow purpose. For those times when you're wondering, why is that the right answer? You can just come here for a complete library and find out why it was the right answer. And I hope that you'll find that it was very instructive. Of course, the other part of the deal is that since LSAC publishes all of their tests along with test keys, that means that there's no barrier to entry for test prep. And you can hear the air quotes, I hope. Anybody can, and lots of people have, set up shop and call themselves test prep companies. And they've got the questions, they've got the answer keys, and they just try to explain to you why the right answer is right. And then they charge you money for it? That is wrong. I want to put a stop to it. I want to sweep the legs right out from under them. It is bad for you. It's bad for me too. So if you want to know what the right answer is and why the right answer is right, I want you to be able to come here and find it out for free without paying anybody for it. That's very different from what I do in the paid course. What I think has a value about what I do is that I can tell you ahead of time what every question wants from you, what to expect from the right answer, how to formulate a right answer, and then how you can expect wrong answers to sound so that you know before you ever open up a test book exactly what to expect. And all the practice videos that are part of the paid course are just me putting that theory into practice. It's just the rubber meeting the road. In other words, I'm going to show you based on what we've done before how we're going to react when it comes up next time. And that bit, knowing what to do the next time you see something, that I think is worth paying for. And if you agree, I'd love to have you in the course. And if not, that's fine too. Don't pay anybody to explain why right answers are right. Just watch these for free. Enjoy. <laughs>